Saying goodbye to a coworker is never easy, especially if you've developed a relationship. So maybe you've reached major milestones and accomplished big goals together. And on the contrary, a happy, sincere goodbye to a coworker with whom you didn't have the best relationship isn't easy either. But whatever the case may be, expressing gratitude and providing a heartfelt goodbye versus an awkward, uh, okay, well, bye, does in fact make a big difference. But how do you balance sincerity and appreciation with professionalism and authenticity? I'm Sinead and coming up in this video, I have everything that you need to know about saying goodbye to coworkers because yes, there is a strategy to saying goodbye in the workplace. And I've got tips and examples for two different scenarios. What to say if you are leaving and what to do if your colleague is leaving. And be sure to stick around until the very end of each scenario because I'll also share what not to say. But first off, let's dive in by exploring your relationship with your colleague. So what are the best practices for saying goodbye? Well, it all depends on the relationship to the person you're saying goodbye to. So here are a few questions to consider. What is your structural relationship with this person? Basically, what is their role in relation to yours? Are they your manager or do you directly report to them? Or are they on a different team and therefore someone you only occasionally collaborate with? It's important to explore this dynamic because the closer the relationship, the more it's necessary to invest in saying goodbye. For example, if you are a manager and one of your team leads is leaving, you may decide that it's best to organize a farewell gathering. But if this person was a coworker in a different department, a thoughtful message may suffice. Do you work in person or remotely? If you work together in the office, take advantage of the opportunity to say goodbye in person. If you collaborate with a remote worker frequently via video calls or emails, the primary way in which you've always communicated is also the appropriate means to say goodbye. Now, that being said, there are also other ways to say goodbye. You may choose to say goodbye via email to a remote coworker and then offer to grab coffee in person. Or you can attend a goodbye lunch for an in-office colleague and then follow up with an email. But as a rule of thumb, it's best to have your final communication with a coworker reflect the way that you have always communicated with them in the past. Other things you may consider could include, how long did you work together? How did they impact you or your team's work? Does their departure impact the company or team structures? There's really no right or wrong here, but when deciding how much of a goodbye to give, these factors can help you. Now, before I move on, if you've watched this far in the video, please give us a like down below. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our weekly career advice. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, let's get into the first scenario in which you are the person leaving. And if you're looking for info on how to say goodbye to a departing colleague, feel free to jump ahead to the next chapter. Scenario number one, you are the person leaving. If you're leaving your post, start out by thinking about the timeline of events. First of all, who needs to be notified about your resignation and how far in advance? Typically your boss and your company will require a two weeks notice. And for your coworkers or teammates, you could give them a week's notice. Now keep in mind that the timing of your notice will vary based on the circumstances at hand. If you're wrapping up a project for a client, it may be worth telling your team sooner rather than later. After you define your timeline for telling the team it's time to resign, start making a list. Yes, the entire process of leaving a job can be very overwhelming, especially if you're handing off your responsibilities. But having a list can help you stay organized and can also help you to navigate your goodbyes. On your list, be sure to include names of the people you need to say goodbye to, the way in which you would like to say goodbye, like email, in person, in a team meeting, that kind of thing, and any key information you need to address, like a future point of contact for shared work. Once you've gathered your timeline and your list, it's time to say your goodbyes. Begin with sharing the news. This can be very direct, such as, hey there, it's my last week here and I wanted to make sure I said my goodbyes. Then say, thank you, and be specific if you can. Something like, thank you for your personal mentorship and for your support on the program we worked on together. But if you can't think of a specific thing to say, keep it general and honest, such as, thank you for the opportunity to work together and for your support during my time here. To make your farewell feel more sincere, it's always helpful to describe the impact someone had on you and go beyond saying thank you by explaining how their actions helped you. This could be big, like without your advocacy for my work, I would not have the position I have today. 
or something small like, you really helped me level up my skills with our client management software when I needed it most. Then depending on your closeness, you may choose to share personal memories. If you have a rapport with this person, it can be meaningful to acknowledge that. Even briefly, like it meant a lot to have someone help me navigate work after coming back from parental leave. Ways to stay in touch. Most likely your work email account will be deactivated. So be sure to provide contact info like a personal email, link to your professional network account, or even a phone number with your colleagues to stay in touch. What you will be doing in the future. In general, it's not necessary to share this information, but if you are asked and you feel comfortable sharing, give a simple explanation of what you'll be doing. Just do your best to try and keep the focus of your statement on your gratitude. An example may sound like, while I'm excited to begin my new role at Indeed next month, it's bittersweet saying goodbye to such a great team. And here's a big warning for you. Don't share detailed reasons for leaving. Now, some coworkers may ask you if there is a specific reason for your departure or if you were dissatisfied with the company. Even if you are close with coworkers, your goodbye message is not the right time for you to air out your grievances. Sharing that kind of info could be shared later if you choose, but when you're saying goodbye, keep it professional. You can simply state that you enjoyed your time at the company, but were ready for something new. It's always wise to assume that if you explain why you're leaving, it will be repeated. So just be smart about what you disclose. And for even more insight on how to leave a company on good terms, you gotta check out this video right up here. All right, now let's move on to what to say if your colleague is leaving. Scenario number two, your colleague is leaving. When saying goodbye to a coworker leaving for a new opportunity, the goal is to make sure that they feel recognized by thanking them for all of their great work. Send them off with the best wishes for their future success. This could sound like, while I'm sad to see you go, I'm thrilled that you have found an opportunity that excites you and we wish you the very best. And then move on to sharing thanks and impact. Again, thanks expresses gratitude for an action and impact explains why that action was meaningful. A statement with both thanks and impact may sound like, thank you for your drive to exceed your targets and for your willingness to step in and assume ownership when needed. You create an environment of accountability and commitment that the whole team responded to. And depending on your closeness, consider sharing fond memories. If you shared a few inside jokes or another personal connection with your departing colleague, you can refer to it to help your goodbye feel more personal. For example, you might say, I'm really going to miss grabbing coffee with you on Fridays. And consider ways to stay in touch. Be sure to get their phone, their email, or professional profile if you'd like to stay in touch. Now it's time for another warning. Don't be negative or nosy towards the resignation. When someone is leaving, it's natural to want to know why or to have the desire to air out your own grievances about the company. But again, now is not the time. These types of conversations are best had outside of the office. It's okay to have questions. Just ask at a more appropriate time, usually after they leave. In your goodbye, keep the focus on your shared work and your support for their new role. And for more advice on how to communicate well in the workplace, you gotta check out this video right here. All right, now let's quickly recap my advice for saying farewell to a coworker. Consider the relationship you have with your coworkers. If you're leaving, do make a list of people that you need to speak with. Reflect on fond memories, provide contact info, and explain what your next role is. And don't get too caught up in sharing your reasons for leaving. If your coworker is leaving, do share support for their future, your thanks and how they impacted you. Refer to personal memories and ways to stay in touch. And don't be negative. Try to keep the focus on their exciting new chapter and your gratitude for working together. And remember, a departure may feel like a goodbye, but it's often just a see you later. While your relationship will undoubtedly shift with new circumstances, it's always possible to keep someone in your life. It just takes a little effort to keep up with each other. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a big like down below, subscribe to our channel, and of course, hit that notification bell because trust me, you don't wanna miss out on our weekly career advice. And we do have you covered right now, no worries with this playlist right over here. And for tips on interviewing, you gotta check out this video right up here. I'm Sinead, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.